A struggling retail chain is at the center of what some people call a David and Goliath struggle between big and small investors. In less than a year, the stock for video game retailer GameStop has jumped from less than $3 a share to almost $350 a share. Yeah, so here's what happened. All last year, GameStop was struggling. Its stock selling at less than $20 a share. Big Wall Street investors saw an opportunity. They started shorting the stock, betting the price would drop. If it did, they would make more money. But if it rose, they'd take a loss. Now that action angered small investors who used the social media platform Reddit to encourage others to buy, driving up the stock price dramatically and creating huge losses for those big time Wall Street investors. But this morning, the stock trading app Robinhood halted trading on GameStop stock. So for today's KX Conversation, we are joined by North Dakota's member of the House of Representatives, Kelly Armstrong. Hello and thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You take issue with Robin Hood's decision to cut off customers from trading. Why is that? Well, I take issue with it because if it's not market manipulation, it's getting really close. Um, a group of people on you showed in your intro on Reddit thought that uh, GameStop, which by the way, I have a 13 year old daughter and 11 year old son. I love GameStop, <laughs> but they thought the stock was undervalued. So they started talking about having people buy it and the price went up. And so then they canceled trading. I mean, essentially, they, I don't know how you look at it any different to help uh, bolster the losses or stop the losses and the volatility on the hedge funds. So what's happening in the stock market is very unusual. Do you think this incident with GameStop and Reddit uh, should lead to some new regulation of Wall Street? I'm not sure I'm ready there, but I did call for a hearing today. I think we should have somebody in. I mean, Robin Hood was designed to let normal, everyday uh, citizens who aren't hedge fund managers to participate in the stock market. It's essential. It's, I mean, it's capitalism. It's the United States. And when those users did what they do, they shut them off. And that just cannot be the way it works. And, th and thoughts on overall what happened yesterday? Pretty epic. Yeah, well, one, I think it's fantastic that a group of people uh, that really love a store and think that there's value in it and don't have, I mean, aren't in an, a seventh floor penthouse in Wall Street or somewhere like that, decided to get involved. And I think it's really, really problematic that when they do, they get shut out of the marketplace within 24 hours. It's, it, it, it's bad. It, it's just, it's bad. And if our market is that volatile where we have to protect hedge funds at the expense of everyday citizens, that we've got bigger structural problems we really need to look at. And based upon what he's done so far during the first couple of days of his administration, what do you foresee, if anything, coming from the Biden administration about this? Well, I'm not entirely sure about that, but this is one of those rare times when there's been a bipartisan outcry from both sides of the aisle almost immediately. So whether it's the Oversight Committee, the Financial Services Committee, or Energy and Commerce Committee, I, I think you'll expect that we're going to be trying to get some real answers real quick. Representative Kelly Armstrong, thank you so much for your input today. Thank you for having me. Next on KX News, meet a woman.